Hey y'all, Maymay is here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and today we are talking about the main choice type 4 leaf clover line. Now this line was specifically made for naturals that have type 4 hair or kinky or coily textures. Now as a disclaimer, I am not claiming I have type 4 hair. Um, I would consider my hair more curly, specifically type 3C. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar with the hair typing chart, type 4 hair, like I mentioned, is kinky coily textures. Um, the size of the curl or coil is much smaller and usually is a lot harder to notice. Um, so it's a very beautiful hair type, but not one that I do have. My hair again will be classified as type 3C specifically or in the type 3 category due to the large ringlets that you do see in my hair. Typically, people with type 3 hair or looser textures, their hair defines a lot more easily and is not as prone to dryness as someone who has very tight textures. Um, of course, that varies from person to person. That doesn't go for every person that has type 3 C or type 3 hair, um, but that is a typical pattern. Now, going back to the products. First off, we're using the main choice, Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover Manageability and Softening Remedy Shampoo. Claims to be type 4 and proud, and has a perfect blend of clove oil, flaxseed oil, and aloe vera, which are essentially its key ingredients in the shampoo. And it claims to be non stripping, saturates dry, thirsty hair with essential moisture, leaves hair feeling soft and tangle free, adds lasting moisture and shine, and claims to be gentle enough for, gen uh, excuse me, for daily use. Guys, don't shampoo daily. Nobody, no matter your hair type, should be shampooing daily. You will either strip your hair of moisture or just too much product in your scalp. Either way, not a good thing. But anyway, as far as how this shampoo works, one, you can tell it's pretty creamy in consistency and it also smells amazing. I don't know what they'd be putting in these hair products. I don't know why they make it like you want to drink them or eat them or something, but I need them to work on that because I don't need to get poisoning because you make your hair products smell like food or sweet drinks or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, this sh shampoo was pretty moisturizing. It definitely didn't strip my hair at all. It doesn't have a huge lather, but one is there. But if you are someone who loves like a big, large, strong lather with your shampoos, this may not be the best one for you. However, if you're just making sure that you do have a nice moisturizing shampoo, which also has a very cute design, I think this is a pretty good option. Again, main choice is a little more of a high-end, somewhat luxury hairline. But if you like a nice moisturizing shampoo, which main choice in general does produce pretty good shampoos, and also it has some cute packaging, I think this is a pretty good option for you. And I did shampoo twice with this shampoo, and I was left with nice moisturized hair. Now next up is the main choice, Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover Manageability and Softening Remedy Mask. And this mask of course also contains clove oil, flaxseed oil, and aloe vera as its key ingredients. And it claims to intensely restore and rejuvenate coarse brittle hair, penetrates deeply to balance moisture from the pore, improves softness and significantly reduces frizz, greatly reduces shedding and breakage, helps to replenish hair with essential nutrients, and leaves hair feeling soft, manageable, and more elastic. Now, of course, this has the same scent as the shampoo, and it smells amazing. Uh, what's different with this product, it's a lot more loose in texture in comparison to a lot of other masks I use. It's um, definitely nowhere near as thick, and if you're not careful, you can definitely spill this. So be careful because it's a little on the pricey side, and there's only eight ounces of product, so you don't want to spill this in your shower. But um, as far as how well it works, it's okay, it's it's okay. So it does offer some initial moisture, but it doesn't feel amazing to an extent. It kind of feels like it's coating my hair at first. Um, I did get more moisture after I rinsed out and everything and sat for a while, but it wasn't amazing. And as y'all can see, I thought I didn't have that hard of a time detangling, but looking at these clips, I think it must've been horrible because I finger a tangle, so I loosened up some of the tangles. Then I had to comb through it, which as you can see, it took forever in the day to do that. And then I had to take my knockoff Felicia Leatherwood brush and it just, it took a while. It didn't take forever, but it took a while. And I wasn't happy with the tangling process. Again, it wasn't horrible, even though it kind of looks that way in the clips, but it could have been better. And I let it sit for, I think an hour. 
it may have been only the 20 minutes. I don't remember, guys. Um, but I let it sit for a decent amount of time, and my hair is high porosity, so it does absorb products pretty quickly, so I can get good results without sitting with the product for too long. But when I rinsed out, it felt nice. As you can see, my hair was really defined. It was pretty moisturized, but it wasn't like supreme moisture like the um, package complaints, um, so me, um, claims I will do. But again, it wasn't horrible. And if you get this like on the low, like I did for Black Friday, it might be worth your coins. But other than that, I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting this product. If you guys have tried out this particular mask, let me know if you had a better experience with it. But I didn't think it was the greatest thing in the world by any means. Last but not least is the main choice, Natural Growth and Retention, Hair Type 4 Leaf Clover, Mangevillian Softening Remedy, Moisturizing Styling Cream. The key ingredients, of course, are clove oil, black seed oil, and aloe vera. And it claims to provide touchable hold and definition to all hairstyles, restores and revitalizes dry, coarse hair, strengthens and nourishes to help reduce breakage, boosts natural luster and shine, and is gentle enough for daily use. Now guys, this product is truly amazing. One of course, again, with the smell, it's amazing. And the texture is surprised me a lot as well. It's very like loose and very creamy. Um, it's not thick like you expect with most styling creams. So that may play a role into why it works so well. It's pretty similar, honestly, with the consistency of most of Main Choices gels, except that it feels like creamy and nice and not super sticky in the same way that their other gels do. But as you can see, as I'm breaking this through my hair, it's providing amazing definition. Now I did section my hair this time because I wanted to ensure the best possible results with the styling cream, but honestly, the results speak for itself. And here's a nice look of the wet results I got from my hair with this product. And then later with the dry results, I actually let this dry overnight. I did not diffuse. And <laughs> again, the definition speaks for itself. And I did go ahead and fluff it out with some main choice oil and picked it out and again the results just truly speak for themselves like this left my hair moisture but guys let me know what you all thought of this product line and what you thought of this video let me know if you tried these products out or if you're planning to try them out in the future if you had tried them give me an idea what your hair type is whether it be type 3 or 4 or kinky curly or very curly or wavy or if it's low to high porosity anything you know just try to give be descriptive down in the comment section and guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for all future notifications from me. And also don't forget to like and comment. And be sure to follow me out on my other socials like TikTok and Instagram. And guys, I want to thank you again for watching. I can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.